Welcome to Real Life 360. We are so excited to spend our Wednesday with you. You know, Jesus came to give us life and life more abundantly. I believe that today can be the best day of your life. I'm Amy Schaefer. Coming up, we have music and an interview with James Powell. He's tall, he's got a big voice, and he is here to sing right now, Recover. <laughs> Get back after losing. Pray the song blesses you. The song says, I will recover. I won't stay here like this forever. I feel my healing. My life is getting better. From when God said it, I believed it. I lift my hands, declare and receive it. Recover, recover. I will live. Oh yes. Recover. in my life. destiny. Yes, I'm gonna live. Hey, I'm gonna live and not die. Oh, hold on. Recover. Recover. I will live. I don't care what you're going Recover, recover. 
recover, recover. I will live. Oh. I'm Sydney Grant for Good News 360, where we bring you stories showing how God is on the move. God is doing a new thing among high schools. Nearly 100 students came to Christ after a youth minister held assemblies at schools in Washington County, Pennsylvania. Randy Don Giovanni shared a message of encouragement to 3,200 students at 11 schools this month. Don Giovanni's word empowered the teens to overcome negative influences and to reach their highest potential. He collaborated with an organization called On Point, which is a group of parents, teachers, and leaders desiring to see change within young people in their communities. We're told the assemblies were so successful, school districts are planning to bring Don Giovanni back next year. And a Christian doctor selflessly donated her kidney to save a stranger's life. Dr. Esther Kwok is a physician based in Stanford, California. When she found out her patient's son was battling kidney disease, Kwok says God put it on her heart to give her kidney. It wasn't an easy decision for her. She says organ donation isn't allowed in Asian culture, but she says God gave her she gave her kidney away anyway because it was the will of God. Unfortunately, Kwok's kidney was not a match, but the patient's son was able to receive a new one. Kwok's kidney went to a different patient whose original donor was not a match. And here's proof age is nothing but a number. Ella Mae Colbert made an attempt to break the Guinness World Record for the fastest 100 meter dash ran by someone over 100 years old. On her first attempt, she stumbled, but that didn't stop her from trying again. With a bandage on her chin, she crossed the finish line at 46.7 seconds. Colbert has been running ever since high school, but says now Jesus is her coach. Colbert says her training included three mile walks and eating whatever she wants. That's all for Good News 360. Have a great day on purpose. We love good news. Tell me you did not love that story. Mm. I'm here on this Wednesday with Tom McGuff. Nice to Hello, see friend. you. Hello, friend. Good to see you, too. And good to see you. Glad you're here today. Tom, a hundred year old. <laughs> God, please let me be that woman when I'm a hundred. Isn't that amazing? Running. To, to be able to have that, <laughs> that kind of uh, skill and strength and speed and life. And life, yeah. And, and you know, we talked earlier on Real Life about pressure. She had to go through some pressure. Oh, I'm sure she to did, like just like any athlete. still run at 100 years old. Oh, yeah, like any athlete. But you know what? The, the way that you, you deal with that, that, that an athlete deals with that, mm -hmm. she don't look at the pressure. Yeah. Okay, remember, okay. remember when, when Peter was on the bow of the boat? Yes. And, and he's looking at Jesus. There were just turbulent waters below, storm oh, clouds storm. overhead. God doesn't call us to look at the storm. Right. He calls us to keep our eyes on Him. him. So if you're in a storm oh. in your life, Keep your eyes on God. Oh my gosh. I mean, storms d do come. It yes, rains do, on the just and the unjust, but you are not alone. That is our scripture for today mm -hmm. on this Word Wednesday. What we want you to do is go to our Facebook page. We want you to like it. And then we want you to share these scriptures. They will probably impact somebody's life for sure. This is from John 16, 32. I am not alone for my father. He is with me. That's right. What a powerful verse that is. Mm -hmm. you, you know, if you go to the very next verse, it just reinforces that. It says, here on earth, you'll have many trials and sorrows, and we know that, but cheer up for I, God, mm -hmm. have overcome the world. Yeah. You know, uh, Tom, I think sometimes we forget that once we receive Christ into our heart, that we still will go through troubles and mm -hmm. stormy waters and sure. rough times, that it's not all going to be smooth and easy, but oh, no. God will make a way where there is no way. He will be with us. He will help us. He will enable us. He will be there um, plowing a path for us, so to speak. I heard it said this way, that God never promised us a smooth flight, uh -huh. but he promises us a safe landing. Yes. Oh my gosh. And and like that airplane, we just keep going up mm -hmm. and up and that's what we do as believers. We go from glory to glory. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Do, Praise we, God. Hey, we have a great show coming oh, up. Oh, we sure do. We've we got, sure do. Did, did you, you hear, hear him sing? I did. Sing? Oh, I did. 
I, I cannot wait to hear his story and talk to <laughs> hashtag James Powell a little bit later. But man, if you're going through anything right now and you need prayer for anything, our prayer partners, which are the heartbeat of this ministry, they're waiting to hear from you. Give us a call at 888-665-4483. And they are the sweetest people, Tom. They really, truly are. Do you like and to pray? I do. I love to pray. Uh -huh. I love to pray. And I, Lucy and I are walkers. Mm -hmm. So we have upwards of an hour and a half or even two hours a day that we walk. That's our prayer time. Tom, That's our you time. walk two hours a day? Yeah, when it comes down to it, f at least five miles. So, so oh generally in that gosh. hour and a half to two hours. But it's prayer time. And yeah. it's wonderful. And it's amazing how quickly Do you pray goes. together? We do. Do you pray out loud or quietly? We, we do. Uh, out loud. Yeah. Out loud. I and love just articulate. It. We we enter in that outer court with thanksgiving yep. into the inner court with praise and then allow the Holy Spirit to help us to be still and to know that He is God. I love it. He just gave us lessons mm. in praying. Man, we know God has an incredible plan for your life. Listen, do not go anywhere. Don't change that dial. We're going to have an awesome interview with hashtag James Powell. We'll be right back. <laughs> Do you want to know a secret? The Real Life Newsletter is the best thing that I get in my mailbox each and every month. Packed with interesting articles, inspiring testimonials from viewers, and behind the scenes news from Cornerstone Network, the Real Life Newsletter keeps me up to date with the shows I love. Every newsletter comes with a handy program guide, so I always know what's on. Call today for your Real Life Newsletter. You're going to love it. Don't miss hard questions where pastors come together to tackle the issues of the day right out of the Bible. This week we asked, how does God bring discipline into our lives? What's the correct way to repent? And how are we to respond when our pastors fall from grace? Hard questions, Thursdays at 10 a.m., 9 p.m., and Sundays at 4.30 p.m. We've already enjoyed the music of James Pyle. He joins us now so that we can get to know the man behind the music. James, welcome to Real Life 360. Thank you for having me. Hi, James. Nice to be here, man. Yes. Hey, girl. Hey, I say hashtag James Pyle because that's what's on your T-shirt <laughs> down mm -hmm. there. So, I mean, yeah. <laughs> so, what, what, when did you meet Christ? Oh, man, I am, I was basically born on the pew. Okay. Uh, wow. If that makes any sense. <laughs> yeah. Sure does. Um, uh, I was uh, in church all my life. Uh -huh. I really gave my life over to God. I think I was about eight years old. Yeah. And um, I had been singing ever since. I, my mother would say, I've been singing ever since I could talk. Aww. So, yeah, I've been, I've been in the way for a long time. I'm 32 now. So <laughs> I've been following God ever since I was eight years old. Got saved, got filled with the Holy Ghost at age 13. And, God um, bless yes, you yes, yes. with that truth yes, yes. As, as a young boy. Yes. Yes. But you have a passion for those that didn't have that yes. upbringing, didn't yes. have that. I, I see that recover yes. on your yes. shirt. Yes, recover meaning get back everything that you've lost. Yes. Mm. Recover meaning being restored and mm. taking up for everything that you've lost. And mm. um, that's just the message that God has given me uh, through this song. I wrote this song way back in 2008, going through a real, real crazy transition in my life. Mm -hmm. And um, the Lord allowed me. It, I, this song was basically birthed out of a need to just hear from God. Mm -hmm. You know, you go through things in life and it's like when you get out of one thing, here comes something else. Mm -hmm. um, but that song was just birthed out of the necessity just to hear God speak to you and to minister to you right in the middle of your, pro in your, pro your problem. Mm -hmm. And um, he gave me one word, he said, recover. And then when I began to research it and look it up, it said, you will get back everything that you've lost. Yes. And not only does it mean you'll get back everything that you've lost, but it also means to get over it. So things that you've Whoa. gone through, mm. God wants you to know that I'm with you and you'll get over it. You'll come back after everything you've lost. This is what yes. Jesus does. Yes. Doesn't he help us to recover that Absolutely. which has been stolen? Absolutely. Redeem. He came to be our redeemer. Absolutely. Absolutely. How have you seen Christ move through your music to help other people recover and and what did you say to move on move actually on, get over it mm -hmm. um I've, I've heard countless testimonies and to god be the glory mm -hmm. um i'm just a vessel i'm just a vessel and he gets all the glory i've heard countless testimonies of how people were in comas and they when the song first came out uh they would take their ipod and put it in the person's ear and the person came out of the coma what? people that had wow. brain aneurysms and 
and just, oh, wow. just the, the message of God's healing and God's restoration. Um, you can wow. live and God can bring you back out of any situation. That's what this whole song is about. Amen. It's about going through something, but knowing that God himself can pull you out of it. Our human nature is to stay there in the mud, but it was the Apostle Paul that said this one thing I do, forgetting, forgetting what lies things. behind. Yes. It, isn't that a key yes. in, in really this yes. recovery is forgetting, forgetting what forgetting. lied behind. And moving forward. Mm -hmm. they, you, you'll, you'll go through things in life, but know that the power of God that's inside of you is going to help you right. to get to where you need to get to in God. Yeah. We've all got a destiny. We've all got a purpose. I believe that. And, and, I believe that, and the enemy's job is to try to stop us from getting right. to our yes. purpose and Draw getting wedge. to our destiny. Push but if, we, if yeah. we stay focused on the assignment and stay focused on our own individual yes. purpose, God will give us everything that we need to see that thing fulfilled. Mm. James, I meet so many believers that are right where you're talking about. Mm -hmm. They're stuck. Past, maybe they've been recovered, but they're not over it mm -hmm. yet. They need that push. So I think what a great message that God has given you. Yes, ma'am. Do yes, you run into believers like yes. that? Yes. There's life after your trial. Yeah. There's life <laughs> after everything that you... That good, I mean, that's this, good news. It's only just for a moment. Paul said yeah. these light afflictions are only but for a moment, but they work as a right. far more exceeding weight of glory. Yeah. So I've learned to endure it, to yeah. embrace my opposition. Mm -hmm. And I've learned this. Opposition is just the indicator that God's hand is on your life. That's yeah. right. That means that God is, God is, uh, he's all in it. He's all in it. Right. So um, I'm learning to embrace that and I'm learning to look for the glory after my story. I'm looking, looking forward to God getting the glory out of everything that I've experienced. Looking for the glory yes. after my after the story. story. You know what? I, I I'd go one step beyond that. Mm -hmm. I believe that every time in my life, and I'll be 61 in August. Come on here. I believe every time in my life that God has put me through trial, mm -hmm. There's been a season of blessing yes. that yes. follows that. Yes. And in fact, I, I just recently, God laid on my heart that it is that He can draw us yes. to that water, but we have to drink. Mm -hmm. And the trial is almost like a salt lick yes. to make us thirst to make us thirsty. and hunger yes. for Him. Yes. So, like the Apostle Paul again, we glory even in those challenges because yes. yes. He's yes. bringing us to the water and making us drink. Yes. He said. He said. Paul said. I reckon that the suffering of yes. this present time yes. is not worthy to be compared to yes. the glory, glory. that shall be revealed. <laughs> There's glory like after it. this. There's glory after your... So, I mean, endure it. Go through it. And, and, and people are going through some heavy trials, some mm -hmm. heavy yes. problems yes. right yes. now. Yep. But it's glory after this. You'll be able sure to endure it. God will pull you through. Can uh -huh. you talk to them right now? Maybe pray for them? Yes. Somebody that's, that needs to recover yes, in Lord. Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Well, Father, I thank you, God, for yeah. every person that's watching. Yes. I thank you, Father, for every believer that might be going through something, yeah. might be going through one of the most craziest transitions yeah. or mm. positions in their life. And mm. Father, I declare and decree, God, that you will help them come through it. Father, you said that you can pull us out of anything, and yes. we believe your word. Yes. You said in your word that you're not a man that you should lie, neither are you the son of man that you should repent. And God, we hold on fast yes. to everything that you've said and every promise yes. that you've made to us. And Father, I pray strength. I pray, God, the determination to get through it. And God, for you to get the glory out of everything that yes. somebody is going through. Yes. In Jesus' name, yes. we believe it. it is so. God, I praise you for Amen. it. Amen. Amen. Yes, man. Amen. And, it, and if you need any further prayer, you want to call and say, I just got my answer. Make sure you call us at 888-665-4483. I love that, James, oh, that we can recover you can. You can. and that there can be a glory after, after that yes, story. Lord. Yes, Lord. We're so honored that you came. Thank I'm, you for I'm, sharing oh, your heart and the heart of your song. Yes, to God be I the glory. I love it, love it, love it. In just a few moments, we are going to discuss the God moments from today's real life, and we're going to pray for your prayer requests and hashtag James Powell is going to sing again. We will be right back. <laughs> Why did I sign up for Harvest Express? It makes giving to Cornerstone that much easier. Now this is great. I don't have to worry about remembering to send my check every month because it's automatic. I know that my gift starts helping spread the gospel immediately. I don't have to wait for the mail and it helps Cornerstone right away. Call today and ask to be part of the Harvest Express or visit ctvn.org slash Harvest Express for more information. Hey ladies, I have some great news for you. The women of the Cornerstone team have joined together to make a special journal just for you. It's the Cornerstone Take 10 Journal. 
It's a 21-day prayer journal designed to help us all grow as women of God. Each day begins with 10 minutes of inspiration, life coaching, encouragement, and journal time. May Partners, call today with your gift to the ministry for this brand new devotional written by the women of Cornerstone for the women in your life. Wow, what a great show, and I know that you've been blessed, and I bet you're ready to recover yes. everything that the devil has stolen from you. How did y'all enjoy today's show? Oh, wow. Wonderful. Great. Thank you so for the show. So today. many God moments. Yeah, From there is. sports to recovering everything the enemy has lost, I mean, and, and pressure. It just pressure. all connected together. I know God has a great message for his people. Amen. You know what I like that he said, too? He said the opposition is an indicator that God's hand is on your life. So if you're going through some stuff today, Rejoice. just understand that God is with you. He's for you. He's not against you. And your best and blessed days are still out in front of you. And you know, we got a great praise report here. Yeah. Margaret called in, wanted her daughter to get, accept Christ and go to church. Well, guess what? She called our prayer partners, which is what you need to do right now. Yeah. And as a result, her daughter got invited to church, got saved, oh. and is getting ready to be baptized. Yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, that's amazing. a miracle. Amen. It really is. So many parents are praying for their children. So we know that God hears your prayers. Amen. We've got some pray prayer requests right here. Let's go through these and see what God's going to do in their lives. We have here, uh, all of my requests are for, from people who want a healing, who want physical healing. So we'll be praying for that physical healing for you. Amen. Yeah, definitely. We have uh, one for Kelly uh, for favor in court. Uh, so we're definitely praying for that. Um, for Shannon to come to the Lord, to know him personally, and uh, both some more healing mm -hmm. as well. So we're definitely Amen. touching and agreeing on that today. Amen. Mm. And we have um, Lester who uh, needs his money to be returned to him. Hashtag recover, mm. that God can recover anything that yes. was stolen or lost from you. Yes. And also Brenda called, she has a bad liver, she has MRI. She hasn't seen her grandson in six years and we believe that God can recover and restore that situation. And Amen. for wholeness in her family, you know, Amen. the word shalom means wholeness or completeness. So we want shalom in your home. We want that completeness. Amen, amen. And Gina's calling, believing God for a financial breakthrough. She's got some financial problems, but she's already declaring she knows that God's going to come through. And Carolyn is also calling in for physical healing. So we see today that there's a lot of you out there that need a touch in your body. So we're going to believe today that God's going to bring a great breakthrough and a healing touch yes. in your life. And Chad, will you just pray over these yes. today? Yeah, and definitely. Just ask God's blessing. Definitely. Well, yeah. we know there's no space or time in the spirit. Right. And so we're amen. touching and agreeing right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for every request, amen. Lord God. We thank you that you are God over all of them. We thank you they're sovereign, and Lord God, you are laying your hands, Father, as we are laying our hands yes. and touching and agreeing over yes. these requests. Father, we thank you that your spirit is yes. moving into the homes on behalf of every request. Father, we pray now in the matchless yes. name of Jesus, yes, God, yes, that yes. you would do what only you can do. Father God, get the glory out of this, this situ these situations. Yes. Get the glory, Lord God, continue writing your story in the lives mm. of these people. Yes. We release our faith over them yes. now, and we pray, Lord, that you're drawing them near. Lord God, that you're touching, that you're healing, that you're giving favor like a shield as they trust in you, oh God. We praise you, we lift you up, God, and we thank you that you're thank working you, your good pleasure through every request in the name of Jesus. Jesus Lord God, name. we call it done and we say yes. it is so. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, yes. amen. Well, Tom, what's coming up next? Well, coming up next on Cornerstone Network, join the sisters as they take your questions. Are public displays of affection okay? Is it wrong to love the finer things in life? And what do you say to the friend that flirts too much? That's coming up next on the Cornerstone Network. And thank you so much, Chad, for coming and hanging out with yeah. us. We're so Thanks glad to have you. Appreciate Hope you coming back again. And wrapping up today, we've got James Powell singing, Hold On, Almost Over. In the middle of my pain, of my pain. A simple melody he sang to me I'll never be the same ooh, ooh, He told me I would make it And he told me have no fear He sang to my situation A song I needed to hear To hear Oh, 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 oh. He 
said it's almost over I'm almost finished I know it seems hard right now but I put you in it you're gonna tell the story and I'm gonna get the glory so hold on just a little while longer I want to encourage somebody yeah God gave me a song in the middle of my pain. Of my pain. A simple melody he sang to me, I'll never be the same. Ooh, ooh, told me I would make it and he told me have no fear. He sang to my situation a song I needed to hear. Oh, he said it's almost so. I'm almost, finished. almost finished. I know it seems hard right I now, hard right but I put you in it. You You're going to tell the story. Tell the story. I am. I'm gonna get the so hold on, hold on. Just a little while longer. I want to sing it one more time. It's almost over. It's almost over. I'm almost finished. almost finished. I know it seems hard it right seems now. Hard. Right I, 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 you in it, you you're gonna, gonna tell, tell the story. I am. I'm gonna get the so glory. hold on, just a little while, while longer. A little while longer, yeah. Come on, say this part with me right here. Everybody, see, I'll, I'll keep, keep holding. Holdin'. Everybody, see, I'll, I'll keep, keep holding. Hold Everybody say, I'll, I'll keep, keep holding. Hold. Hey, everybody say, I'll, I'll keep holding on. I'm almost finished I know it seems hard right now but I put you in it and you're gonna tell the story and he's gonna get the glory you're gonna tell the story he's gonna get the glory God get the glory get the glory out of my life today God I know you can I know you will, Jesus. Let me tell you my testimony, y'all. I was almost crazy, almost lost my mind, yeah. But he be God, he stepped in on time. Yes, he did. My heart was broken into two big pieces. Yeah. But I kept on praying. 